Hey guys, welcome to the final season of a Marvel Bravo career mode, guys. So, on this career mode, guys, we're gonna end the, se the first season of a Mar Bravo. So, you guys have to tell me, guys, do you guys want me to do a second season or should I end it and I'll bring you another career mode? Uh, probably different play player or something like that. If you guys want me to, uh, to continue it, I will continue it, but right here on my Bravo, that's a nice pass, but the goalkeeper pretty much defending awesome. Right here, once again, March is seen with that nice save, guys. Um, and right here on my Bravo, and once again, March is seen. What a goalkeeper, guys. Uh, March is seen, but Omar Bravo, once again, with the ball right here, tries to look for that open spot. It goes to... Orbelin, but he doesn't manage to score right here. Omar Bravo, that's gonna be a goal, not a problem for Omar Bravo. That's gonna be a first goal, guys. So, right now, guys, let me talk to you guys about something. So, apparently, there's this thing where Omar Bravo hasn't been scoring goals for Chivas, and I've seen all over Twitter how Chivas fans don't really like Omar Bravo anymore just because he hasn't been scoring goals. I think every, every player. And, and football guys there's a time where they're not scoring goals but eventually they will score goals guys so i think that we should give omar bravo a chance who definitely will uh, will start scoring goals again uh it just the opportunity hasn't been there guys and what do you guys expect when chivas is trying to play this kind of play style with football when they only look for crosses and omar bravo is not a really a top player i think the best play to play chivas is like how i do it down the middle and i think omar bravo will eventually score goals but um, I seen that Chivas tries to play a lot of crosses, and Omar Bravo is not a big player, guys. So I think eventually Omar Bravo will be scoring goals. And right here you see the second goal for Omar Bravo scoring to Santos, and this is the semifinals, no quarterfinals of the uh, Liguilla, guys. And we already have uh, around 15 goals with Omar Bravo in this tournament, guys. 2-0. We're winning, so we're probably going to take this victory uh, to our stadium um, where we play in the next game. Right here, pass for Omar Bravo to Cone Brizuela, and Brizuela is going to score that goal. Not a problem, guys. Yes, exactly, guys. Exactly how Cone Brizuela did that goal against America. He does it right here, guys. Nice pass to Omar Bravo. Omar Bravo looks Cone Brizuela. Oh, Brizuela was an offside just exactly like that. And the goal on the Classico, guys, was actually a very a good goal. It wasn't a offside goal. Uh, today, the Femex foot already said it. Uh, that that goal uh, did come for Chivas, but the referee did a mistake. And the referee won't be refereeing next uh, next week for the Liga MX, guys. He will be, I think, one game. Uh, this, uh, this week, he won't be uh, refereeing. So, Almeida took us out. I did... Um, uh, so we got sub in and we didn't got called for the second game of the quarterfinals guys versus Santos So let's go ahead and we did manage to win to zero So we advanced to semis and who are we gonna play in semis? Pachuca the other uh, Great team with the with the youngsters. Uh, so we were gonna play against them. We see here uh, great Great Gonzalez from the United States as their defender. So a very, very good young team. You could say they always have young players there. And what do you guys think about Lozano and Pizarro going to the national team? They're going to be playing against Canada. I don't know if they're, gonna, they're not going to start, but Giovanni Dos Santos and Ochoa won't be, uh, they won't be called for the national team uh, in this elimination um, for the World Cup against Canada guys but right here Pachuca with Bota got this opportunity and Jimenez what a save guys what a save from our goalkeeper um, and right here uh, we get a nice cross right here but there is Gonzalez to stop that then right here Omar Bravo to Orbelin Orbelin with that bad shot there guys and uh, we did got sub out here by Almeida, guys, at the minute 63, 63, 65. 
and we got called out. And we weren't even called for the second game in our home stadium. And Chivas did manage to pick up the victory, guys, 4-0. So we were going to the final. So we'll see who are we going to be facing in the final, guys. And let's check that out. Uh, start simulating. And we were going to be facing Tigres. Oh, Guinac, Auche are, are still on the squad. So it was going to be a difficult game to play against them right here, guys. So let's get into the game. So El Libertador, Tigres versus Guadalajara. A very good team, you have to say. Guinac will be on the bench. So that's a good thing for us. So Auche will be there. But, of course, Omar Bravo right here sees open, but it was a bad pass. Not a problem. Right here, Auche. A goalie takes the ball away, passes to Kota. Kota passes back, and that's not going to be a problem. Right here, we got a counterattack with Ramirez. Ramirez passes to Omar Bravo. Omar Bravo tries to score, but the defender's being very good. Right here, Omar Bravo tries to cut inside. The, he gets fouled, and that's going to be a penalty. So we were taking that with Omar Bravo right down the middle, and that's going to be a goal, guys. So, um, yes, I think Omar Bravo is definitely going to score um, in this past and this next weeks, guys. I know he hasn't scored in this past weeks, but I think he will be scoring against Monterrey, guys. So I hope he does 16 goals in this Apertura tournament already, guys. So right here, guys, we get sub out by Almeida. So Almeida subs out at this, but we did that penalty. And actually, Tigre subs in Andre uh, Pierre Aguinac, guys, um, which is a very good player. Um, right here, our goal of penalty to Guzman, guys. A very good goal. And then this guy came in, which I don't think he's Mexican. Um, because the, in the career, player career mode, the managers don't really tend to follow the rules. So right here, guys, uh, we didn't work called to the to the game so we didn't manage to lose the game we didn't became champions i think if omar bravo would have played we would have had a much chance to beat him Tigres beat us two zero guys we lose the the chance to become champions with chivas and omar bravo comes to the uh, end of the first season guys so yeah guys i want you guys to tell me do you guys want me to continue with the with the omar bravo career mode guys uh, until he retired, he's gonna be uh, 36 on the next season, and we start a new one. Or do you guys want me to start a new season, guys? Uh, I probably could do other players, uh, player career mode. You guys want another player career mode? Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Adios. <laughs>